Hi. So now we are looking at experiment, uh, which is the uh, part of solar geometry set of experiments, and it is the sh study of shading uh, or shading design for the current day or current uh, current day and time. Um, so for this experiment, we will need these equipments. Firstly, the base panel here. We will need this. Uh, then there is a whole set of uh, scaled house walls that we have here uh, and we have different sets of windows also uh, inside this the set here so as you can see that there are different configurations of windows so we will need this this thing here and apart from this um, apart from these items we will uh, we will need uh, house clips to to attach the house uh, and we will also need the shading devices or the, the scaled shading devices that we have provided in the kit. These are the equipments that that is going to be required to perform this experiment. Once the students perform this experiment, uh, they will gain an, a visual understanding of how uh, the the shadings are designed especially all, all the uh, the curricula currently uh, talks about shading design in a theoretical sense and there are formulae etc uh, but but students generally struggle to really envision how does a shading uh, really work and how how is it uh, practically designed keeping in mind the sun's angle etc so this experiment will give them a visual understanding for um, designing the shading devices so we are looking at the assembly of this experiment. We have selected a couple of walls from the set of walls that we have provided uh, with configuration with windows. That is a couple of walls with windows and couple of blank walls uh, that is going to be required for this experiment. And then there is roof and then there is the um, base of the house. We have the clips here to assemble the house and we have the house panel or the base panel. So uh, we are going to look at the uh, there are also shading devices here for these uh, respective windows. So this you can see here it's base written on this house. We will assemble this house now. So for assembly the so as you can see that the holes uh, or, or the circles that you can see here are nothing but magnets. This base will actually stick to the this house base is going to stick to the base panel and we have to make sure that this base uh, completely falls under the circle that is provided here so uh, right now what i have done is i have just matched the circle here this is my base which is now set on the panel the next thing that we are going to attach so we are we will be attaching the house walls now we have to keep in mind that two things this the grid that is being provided is uh, for the outer side of the house and then there are top and bottom sides provided here which we have to keep in mind so this is bottom now we'll have to match the bottom and the notch here needs to be matched with the hole so here this is the first wall that we have um, assembled now we'll make use of the clip and we will take another wall blank wall for now this is another blank wall without any windows and there is there are notches here so you can see that there is no gap that is left here and that will give you a sense of which side of the clip will go so if there is no gap then the the side of the clip that will go is this if there would have been gap here this side would have gone to make up for the gap okay so now this this will go here and this window top bottom This is one side. Now you can see that there is a gap, right? 
so we will take another wall top bottom outside another clip then we have to make sure that the clip is is like this to make up for this gap match and then the fourth side we will be taking the other window match the clip the other clip since this is a precision uh precision fit it it will require a, a bit um adjustment to finally come at the last point so that's what we are trying to do right now the base and the walls are set now the last part is the roof again this is going to be this needs to be outside this is my house assembly now this house is assembled the next thing that i have to show you is how do we uh, insert the shading so this is the shading for this window this is the vertical shading this sd1v uh, you can look at it in the list again the grid needs to be outside again there is a magnet here if you just slide this it will go and similarly there is a horizontal shading so this is the shading assembly now we will move on to the procedure of this experiment coming on to the procedure of this experiment the first thing that i will do is adjust this base uh, to the north uh, so that i have done using a compass um, this is the north here and this is the south and my sun is coming from this side here i am looking at the shading design so um, for before that the windows that i have selected you can see i'm just shifting this to to show you um, the grids uh, the, this is the window here and there are you can see there are small square uh, grids here and each grid here measures 20 mm so uh, you can see i'm using a scale each grid is 20 mm by 20 mm and similarly uh, using the grids we can calculate the the uh, 
length and width of the window so windows height sorry height and width of the window so windows height you can just count the grids here one two three four four grids that is around eight. so the height is going to be 80 mm and similarly one two three and four the uh, width is also 80 mm so this is an 80 mm by 80 mm grid uh, and the total um, total length of the wall is if you could just, just count the grid is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then half and half is 10. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, it is 200 by 200 mm and the window is 80 by 80 mm. So, from these numbers, what we can calculate is the window to wall ratio, which we know the formula of and it is also mentioned in the uh, the classroom learning aids manual you can look at the formula just by putting these values uh, we can calculate the window to wall ratio of this window similarly if we follow the same procedure we can also calculate the window to wall ratio of this scaled window these scaled windows we have uh, provided different configurations of window to wall ratios uh, looking at the general wwrs or the window to wall ratios which are uh, used in construction and this is going to give us the, an idea about how uh, when, when it is scaled up uh, how the actual window uh, the, the shadings on the actual window would look like now once we have calculated the window to wall ratio what i will do is i will use these two windows which are my uh, windows with walls uh, in the direction that I am getting the sun. So, my sun is coming from this side and hence the two sides that I have uh, attached these uh, uh, windows, uh, walls with windows is the direction from where the sun is coming. So, now the next part that I am going to do is I am going to attach the shadings on both these windows and how I am going to do that I am again just showing. Uh, this is the horizontal shading, this is gone and now what I will be looking at is to design my shading device, how this, uh, th this shading needs to cover a good part of the window, th this the, the window uh, needs to be covered by shading so here you can see approximately till here if you will just give you a zoomed in view now um, in, in a bit but it is it is covering till here so this is approximately my preferred shading depth uh, the horizontal shading that depth that is and then moving to the vertical part i will do the same thing with vertical shading I will cover it up till the point that it is giving me a maximum coverage for uh, this window. So we will just look at the close up wave now. So as we just saw this is till where the shading is covering my window. This is, a pref this is the preferred shading depth for this day at this time. And similarly, there is also vertical shading. So, as you can see, it is currently shading on till only this part. But since the sun is directly coming uh, from the angle, it will not be uh, helping me much. The, the vertical shading that is. So, this is for now, let us say this is the ideal vertical shading depth that we have here. And this is the, the shadow length for vertical shading and this is the horizontal shadow uh, length. I will repeat the same procedure for the other window. I will use the horizontal shading device to cover my window and I will again use the vertical shading device. Again nothing in this sort is written in stone we can uh, play with whatever we want uh, in the design 
but now you can you can see that this is my preferred design for this configuration of house now we'll just look at the so here you can see this this horizontal shading is covering up to this length here and this vertical shading is actually covering a, a, a part of window since it is it has it's covering a lot we'll just say till here since it's covering um, we'll, we'll assume it to be of this length as it's covering uh, the whole window here with the vertical shading so now you can see the whole window almost the whole window is covered through horizontal and vertical shadings once we are we are done that the next part which we have to do here is to measure this this length here of the horizontal shading device uh, which is again we can use uh, the scale the the metal scale which doesn't which starts directly from here but i'm just giving an approximation so it's a approximately 15 centimeter um, 15 or 16 centimeter or let's say sorry 16 mm this this length is around 16 mm and here this length from this side if we just look at it or what we can do is we can mark this length here and we will now measure this is around 30 mm and what i will just so let's say this was our preferred shading we'll just mark it off and say this is again around 30 mm so it's 30 mm by 30 mm would be 30 mm would be our horizontal shading depth and 30 mm approximately would also be our vertical shading depth once we have done this we also need to calculate the shadow length this is the shadow length the horizontal shadow length that is so just looking at the grids uh, one two three four so this is around uh, 80 mm uh, 4 into 20 and then so we have to just calculate this additional length here that the shadow is covering This is approximately 8 mm. So the total uh, horizontal shadow uh, length or uh, horizontal shadow length will be 88 mm. And similarly, the vertical shadow length will be one. So this is half a grid. One, two, three, three grids. Uh, three and a half that is uh, 70 mm. And then additionally, we just have to calculate this, this amount here. which is again around 8 mm. So this is 78 mm and this here is 88 mm. This is my horizontal shading length and vertical, uh, sh horizontal sh shadow length and vertical shadow length. Similarly, I will, uh, I will identify both uh, the shadow lengths for this window and note them down according to the table provided in the manual. Once we have all the measurements, including horizontal shading uh, depth, vertical shading depth, horizontal shadow length, vertical shadow length, we will be able to calculate uh, horizontal shading angle and vertical shading angle using these parameters and once we have those angles uh, the formula for which you can look at the manual uh, once we have uh, these values and we have the horizontal shading angle and vertical shading angle what we can do is we can assume uh, the height and the, the, the dimensions of uh, an actual building and what we can do is we can scale 
the actual building from this house structure the house currently is 20 um, it's 200 mm cube uh, every side is 200 mm here so once we we can what we can do is we can scale it up to any length breadth height we want uh, for an actual building and we will get corresponding values of these shading lengths the shadow lengths etc and also the shadow angles the different the horizontal shadow angle uh, sorry the horizontal shading angle and the vertical shading angle we can get uh, for an actual building which will give us an understanding of how we can design the shading device for an actual building using this scaled model so students will have a visual a really visual representation and a visual understanding of how these these windows work uh, under the sun uh, uh, how these shadings shading devices work under the sun and how these shading angles um, are also uh, playing a role in determining the the design of sh shading devices both horizontal and vertical this is how this experiment is useful for architect architecture students thank you